legs are hurting. My legs <laughs> Good morning, John the Law. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, and it is a D Day. I'm Pam, and I'm Amira. And here are today's announcements. It's the season of giving, so take some time this month to give a gift to someone who may not be as fortunate as you. The National Honor Society is sponsoring the annual giving tree. To participate, take a card from the tree in the front lobby, buy the gift listed on the card, and then return the card and unwrapped gift to the tree by December 14th. Thank you, and have a great holiday season. Come support the boys' basketball team as they host their inaugural cornhole tournament on Saturday at 1 p.m. in the new gym. Everyone is welcome. Follow J-Law Basketball on Twitter for the link to register. The cost is $20 for a team of two. Prizes will be awarded to the first and second place teams. We look forward to seeing everyone there. Interested in getting a civil discourse club up and, ru up and running? We'll be talking current controversies and working together to find common ground. Join us December 3rd during Common Time in the Media Center to find out what it's all about. For more info, see Ms. Briggs in the Media Center. Attention book clubbers, the November 26th meeting is canceled. Please check your emails for rescheduling info or see Ms. Briggs in the Media Center. Attention all boys interested in trying out for the basketball teams this winter. There is a final mandatory meeting tonight at 5.30 p.m. in the Media Center. All players must have one parent or guardian present for the meeting. Important information regarding tryouts and the program will be discussed. Today's word of the day is illicit. <laughs> illicit. The definition is illegal. The port was notorious for its smuggling and illicit trade. <laughs> Today's lunches are General Sal's chicken and cheeseburger beetloaf. <laughs> In law sports action today, the annual Law vs. Porn Powder Puff game is at Law at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have an announcement from members of the Powderpuff team. This be us. Uh, <laughs> so everyone, better everyone, better pop out. We're gonna, pop out. We're pop gonna out. be Pop out. We're gonna be nice with it. We're gonna be real good. Uh, if we get forty points, uh, Mr. K's Mr. K, K think about it. Mr. K, think about it. Mr. K, think about it. He is doing it. I don't care. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Six. We're shutting foreign out. Facts. Facts. And finally, we have a commercial for this year's Powder Puff game. The commercial was produced by junior broadcast journalism <laughs> student Mike Lashabo. After that, we have a special segment which asks the law community, what is your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? That video was also produced by Mike Lashabo. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is going to the football games and playing Powder Puff. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is eating turkey next to the Powder Puff Trophy. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is going to New Hampshire and meeting up with my cousins once a year. Our favorite Thanksgiving tradition is being, being together. together. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is running a race with my family on Thanksgiving and then getting to eat as much as I want. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition besides the football game is going to my grandma's house and playing pickleball with my family and then going Black Friday shopping with my friends. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is taking a nap after dinner. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is gambling. <laughs> my favorite Thanksgiving tradition is playing with the turkey guts. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is watching football and eating mashed potatoes and corn. My favorite uh, Thanksgiving tradition is watching football and getting to visit children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is spending time with my family and watching the Flyers lose to the Rangers every year, Mr. Sweeney. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is mashing mashed potatoes with my grandma and cousins. <laughs> my favorite Thanksgiving tradition is going to the law foreign football game and then the day after having that perfect leftover sandwich. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is going to the Shelton Derby game every year. <laughs> my favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is like eating food with my family. <laughs> my favorite tradition would probably be law beating foreign. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is going to the Thanksgiving morning football game and then hanging out with my family afterwards. 
My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is eating food. My favorite Thanksgiving holiday tradition is going to the Thanksgiving game and then going hang out with my family. Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving tradition is uh, seeing my friends in Harper. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is two things. Go to the law foreign football game, go home, have a little eggnog, and then go to my brother's house in Cheshire where we usually have about 25 to 30 people there for dinner. And that's the Mannion tradition. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is making piles of leaves and jumping in them. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is playing family games after dinner. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is the Thanksgiving Day game. Let's get it. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is breaking the wishbone. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is eating turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition is pumpkin pie. So my favorite Thanksgiving Day tradition occurs right before I leave for the football game. Bobo and I have spent the night before preparing all of the items that I'm going to bring to my parents' house. The stuffing, the butternut squash, and of course the turkey. And so we put it all into the oven and I leave and Bobo watches it. Um, well, there was that debacle of Thanksgiving 2014 when he ate the stuffing before I got home from the football game, but that's a different story. So he watches all of the food while I'm at the game, and then when the game is over and we celebrate our victory all the way home, I get excited, and then when I get there, Bobo and I take the food out, package it all up, and we head over to my parents' house for our annual Thanksgiving Day celebration prepared by me and Bobo.